I'm gonna ask you a really stupid <laughs> question, all right? This is the dumbest question I've ever asked on this show. <laughs> Are Deep. you wearing a Speedo right now? Are you wearing a Speedo right now? No, no, no. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. What are some things that you want voice talent to know if they want to be in this business and be taken seriously? What are well, some things, some do's and don'ts? What are some things well, that you're know, finding? Know your market, yeah. you know, number one. If it's commercially what you do, know your market, um, who you're selling to. Um, Animation-wise, um, you know, it's probably important to know what's on animation-wise, what's on Cartoon Network, what's on Disney, uh, what is on Netflix and the streaming channels, the what's of, relevant. Yeah, um, the I, types of voices right. that are being Sure, I, cast. that's exactly right. Yeah. I, I can't tell you how many times I hear actors doing animation auditions and they sound like 90s Nickelodeon animation. And you know, that was a great time. Yeah. And it was an amazing time in animation, but it is out of style and actors don't even know that that's not what's on anymore. Here's the other <laughs> thing about animation, which is yeah. amazing, is every, everybody goes to a wacky character voice right away. I'm like, mm -hmm. you're not on TV at all with your regular voice. So what makes you think that hokey little voice you're putting on is going to go on TV? <laughs> Seriously, ah! that's the voice you put your kids to bed with at night. Yeah. That is not that is not a level voiceover quality when you are searching for a character for whatever it may be. Yeah. If you combine two dead character actors, maybe the voice of one with the pacing of another, you've got yourself an amazing animation character on the mm -hmm. fly. Mm -hmm. You can do it with three characters, but better with two. That's good. The voice of one, the pacing with another. I'm telling you, the top guys do it all the time. Absolutely. And yes. it is a really, if you have to be, now you have to be a master of AMC and all of the old movies. Mm -hmm. And right. you know, a lot of voice guys are. Yeah. They're, they, they, they're, hit, they're history buffs. Yeah. They study the craft. They study yeah. acting. Um, so yeah. you, if you are, if you're, you know, a student of the game enough, if you can on the fly put together two dead character actors, yeah. you will have an endless supply of great animations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Didn't and, we just have and, somebody on have recently? Dead, but they have to be dead. Exactly. Yes. Didn't we yes. have on somebody recently? Well, so a few people have said. Who, we, who gave us an example of different characters that they have. Uh, Carlos was, Ellis Rocky. Carlos Ellis Rocky. Oh, at our 300th live was, show, he was giving an example of and he goes, hybrids of like Gene Wilder with, you know, but yeah, yeah. it's yeah. it's so true. Yeah. Because yeah. even that, as, as you, many have said, even your impersonation of someone doesn't have to be spot on. But just right. the essence of that creates well, a character and a, and a richness. Yeah. Well, so many characters that are beloved are like that. I mean, Maurice's Pinky in the Brain or the yes. Brain is just, you know, his sort of version of Orson Welles. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, there's right. a lot of it out there already. It just, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. they're so sneaky with how they do it. You're just like, that sounds so familiar. It's but so crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's because they're fooling you. They're, exactly. They've, they've yeah. gotten into your brain. Yeah. They are masters. But it's yeah. that layer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so great. So, yeah. so speaking of versatility... Uh, not everybody is great at everything. No, and that's so, fine. And that's fine. So for you, from where you are, from where you're sitting, is it better to be great at a couple of genres as opposed to trying to be sort of a jack of all trades? Okay, I, mean, I what feel is... like this question was made for me, and I say it all the time. Is, <laughs> you know, give me somebody great at one thing, and I will show you a career. Mm -hmm. um, now, there's nothing wrong with versatility. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. I love it. And at my agency, to be honest, I feel I have actors working in all areas a lot. I mean, many of my actors work in all areas. We don't just yeah. talk right. about it. We do it. Right. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like this new generation of actors really can do it all. But with that said, be great at one thing. That's, you know, a career is made being great at one thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that we still are in a time where you're being great at one thing still can show you a good career. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Yeah being average at a bunch of things in voiceover it's will not get good. you nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Again, the old, it's a numbers game thing. Yeah. Only is a numbers game for the talented and the really good ones. Yeah. If you are not good and competitive, you can read a million scripts and you're not going to book a single one. Yeah. Yeah. Dean, is there a such thing, in your it's opinion, like truth serum. as truth serum? No. Is there such thing as too much coaching? Oh, no doubt. Oh, for sure. No question about it. Now, so too methody. So young actors that just come into the game, yeah. um, that I work with, I don't let them get any coaching. The mm -hmm. ones that are ready naturally, yeah. The mm -hmm. ones that just have that sound, they just 
they can't help it but sound good. They just sound and, like they're talking. And that's where yeah. we are in promos too. I talk to all of the promo people and what books is just, I mean, not always, but what they're wanting to book is the guy that just steps up or the girl that just steps up yeah. and sounds good. Yeah. They maybe not didn't connect the first line with the third line. They got wrapped up in the end. Maybe they didn't even notice any of that happened, but they just walked up and sounded dope and they get hired for it. Mm-hmm. So um, those people that just sound good, yeah. I don't let coaches mess with them. Just um, keep their raw. Keep that raw, yeah. real thing. And they'll book national network commercials for a couple of years. And then they might lock into something like uh, um, a retail account that right. kind of gets their read jacked up a little bit. Yep. And they can't quite get that chill read they used to have. Then we go for interactive. Then we go with the coaching method and we so we start, all right, you're in middle, you know, you're you're in the middle of your career now. We're gonna coach <laughs> you up and you yeah. know, keep making you money. And I, I believe it or not, that's a career path and yeah. it's a damn good one that works. Yeah. Um, and so um, you know, uh, there is a career path for every voice actor. Absolutely. And, uh-huh. and I love that you know the industry so well, man, that you just know where to put people and when it's time to move them. The cycle. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. and well. I will say this. I'm quite proud of it, to be honest, about myself and another um, actor. Well, the actor came up with it more than I did. Uh, the concept of um, I am the book binding. I am the pedestal. I am the frame. Um, the frame that is hopefully there to not be seen, but I'm just trying to put everybody in the best light. You know, I'm right. holding up my clients as a pedestal to yeah. try to put them in the best light. Mm-hmm. And to do that, I have to know the best path for them. Yeah. Um, I have to be able to tell them with confidence where we're going and how we're going to get there. Yeah. Um, and um, I've been doing it long enough to see those career paths. Now, I will say we're definitely in an interesting time now yeah. um, where the career path is not as certain as I once believed it to be. Yeah. Um, but I still think it can be even more interesting with the flood of new media that's coming to the market, the unbelievable flood of streaming. You're not making money the exact same way you used to make them. And you need to be open to the new avenues, whatever yeah. they may be. Um, and it is a little uncertain right now. No question about yeah. it. It's more uncertain now than it has been. Um, but with that said, what I do know is there's more products, more channels, more outlets, yeah. more media, more mm-hmm. everything there's ever been. Yeah. And while maybe we're a little out of vogue in promos and trailers, okay. Yeah. But they need voices, man. They voices yeah. um, give you a lot of exposition. They cut out a lot of money. Um, they sound damn good. I mean, it's the human voice. Yeah. You know, it's what it's, it inspires us. It, it's, uh, you know, it does. Yeah. It moves the, it. the it human voice is going nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Is my, <laughs> exactly. is what I'm saying. Yeah. I agree. Um, it's so. style I don't even somewhere. Know. I think we haven't even seen the beginning of where this industry is going to go. So I agree. I'll leave it with that I agree. for sure. Siri and Alexa can't do everything. That's <laughs> right. Um, do you consider talent that don't live in LA to represent? For sure. Absolutely. You have to do that. Is I think, there a different criteria or yeah, expectation? Yeah. Oh, for sure. For yeah. sure. I mean, I still love LA voice actors just because um, I get to see them and know them and, and I really know how good they are. Um, I know how good every actor I have is because I've read every single actor. Yeah. And I have this kind of cool thing. If I see a voice actor read, if I watch his lips read into a microphone, I kind of lock it into my brain. And if I ever hear it again, I can pick it out pretty easily. Um, so that's kind of a cool little trick that to be is. able to do. That's a, tr- that's a good trick. It's a good little trick. Um, you have but, photographic so, hearing. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to say I, it's like that, but, but I... I can definitely be impressive on, you know, on the TV or radio. What are some of the criteria for somebody from out of town to, okay. to be able to? Um, you're more likely an announcer. And I'm fine with that. I love that. I love announcers. That's where my bread is buttered. Now, do I love my animation people too? For yeah. sure. But I love announcers. So if you're out of town, you're most likely an announcer because my animation and interactive mm-hmm. casting directors would think I'm insane for putting out of town people on their castings. Yeah. Because tomorrow's the callback and this guy's in Wisconsin right. or whatever it may be. So yeah. I don't do a lot of animation or interactive with out-of-town clients. And I tell them that right up front. I'm the wrong place if that's your plan. Yeah. Um, unless well, you're they're amazingly, in the wrong place if that's Unless plan. they're amazingly <laughs> talented. And then I would say, listen, you've got to move to Los you Angeles. you got to move. Right. There is no, there's nothing for you anywhere else but Los yeah. Angeles. Yeah. So, Have um, you ever done that? Have you ever told somebody they need to move? Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he got a network while he was here and he moved back with his network. So he's fine. You said earlier that the warm announcer is kind of making a little. Mm, I think so. 
I think Come so. Back. Now that's, you know, that's uh, early returns from the last couple yeah. months of auditions, but I feel like the the warm male announcer is um it, it, it's that stand that's our stand it's our fastball it's what you know it's yeah. what we live by the, the yeah non announcer male announcer you know yeah. um uh, that's what this industry has been living on the last 20 years totally um, and you kind of need that man. yeah i mean he makes you feel like doing yeah. something, you yeah. know, he's the guy that tells you to go do it. Yeah. It might be a tricky question, but it's not meant in a tricky way. But if I'm a voice actor and I'm with Dean Panero Talent and I find out about a job okay. that I might be good for, yeah, do I submit for it on my own or do I call you no, up you and call say, me. Dean? No, no, no. You definitely call me. Okay. But- Listen, I, I, I understand the question because yeah. I hear other agents are crazy about stuff like that. Yeah. And on my agency, it's like, thank you for the information. Let's get this audition. What audition did I miss? Oh, I have the audition, but you weren't on it. I am not a machine. I am so sorry. Yeah, exactly. You should have been on this. And that actor knows that I meant to put him on there. Yeah. And I'm not a computer, but yeah, people know that if they're missing, if they, if they hear about something, an audition that's out there that their friends have, I want to know about it. Now, I know other agents are like, you know, we get what we get, boy, not me. I want to know about it. You know, if it's non-union, you know, national network, non-union, all right, fine. But if it's union, I want to know about it. Um, yeah. So, and do you know how many people book that damn script that they said, can I get that? I didn't get that. Mm-hmm. It, the yeah. percentages are incredible. Yeah. The guy that says, hey, well, can I read can this? I, found, I saw it? this in the lobby. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't have it. Oh, for sure. And I, I will always say yes, for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Because I know he's going to book it. Yeah. Because it always books it when they <laughs> when they pick it up and you're yeah. like, you know, I'm perfect for this. I'm like, I know you're perfect for yeah. that. You are perfect for that. Please read it. I'm so sorry. And you're like, damn, how did I forget that person? He's so perfect. But we're not machines. <laughs> right. We're not computers. Exactly. Right. And um, if somebody is not union, I mean, would you represent somebody that's not yeah, union? Absolutely. Uh, they're on my, on, they're part of the test group that's, um, because non-union is a part of voiceover now. It's not 1998. It really is. It really is. It's not is. 1998. I'm yeah. not yeah. act like it doesn't exist. Yeah. So there is a path going union. You just have to buck up and be like, I'm going to go union only. And you might have to have a little help from your parents for a couple of years. But, right. but yeah. there's the non-union path. Yeah. You can go to the, um, you know, the places that do the dubbing and places that do the non-union animation and learn your craft. And, well, not the exact craft I want you to learn. It's a little bit different <laughs> style acting. Yeah. Yeah. And if you get too caught up in it, it'll screw up your, you know, your animation read. But um, there is a great path for non-union actors yeah. these days. And okay, you know, we had the strike. We started the we started this non-union stuff ourselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We bl- got to blame ourselves if anybody. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I I absolutely have non-union actors now. If that non-union actor's goal is to never be union, they're not the right person for me. We're exactly. going we're going union. Yeah, yeah. no That's doubt. The about it. That's absolutely. the only it's the only way I'm going to make money. You know, yeah. I mean, now do I make some decent non-union deals? Sure, from time to time. But the bread is buttered with the union. I'm a union guy. Yeah. But again, I'm not going to pretend like it doesn't exist. I mean, that's silly. Yeah. You know? and, and, um, and and I mean, and, and listen, frankly, yeah. like you were saying earlier, there are some jobs that really have no union affiliation. Well, yeah. yes, that's a whole messier thing. The whole subject. messier yeah. thing, which but we're not going to talk about. The, tri- yeah. the trickiest part is it's the same casting directors and directors doing union and non-union. Right. Mm. Same people. Same group of people. So you want to keep them happy yeah. with some non-union options so you get their good union stuff too. Right. Um, and you love this casting director. You've been friends with them for years or, you know, you've known them for years. You go to their kid's softball game or whatever. Um, so you, as a human in a business, you want to give them a couple options. Exactly. Um, yeah. And, you know, maybe somebody would say, oh, you're screwing up the union. Mm, I don't think so. I think I think it through pretty good. Yeah. And uh, um, I, I'm comfortable with my, my position with the union. Uh, you know what, Dean? I think you need to have your own YouTube channel. Ask me. Yeah, I, I'll, uh, I'll just do it in conjunction with your show. As I'll long as we get to do it in this beautiful studio. <laughs> We're going to do it. There's a we'll new deal. We'll have segments with Dean Panera. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Today's uh, top topic. I love that. That's yeah. so great. Uh, man, I got to tell you, thank you so much because you are sharing such amazing information. You're not afraid to just say how you, what you believe and how you believe and and yeah. and, 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 and you're just so truthful about the industry and it's one and one other one of the reasons I do what we do. We can be honest in this. Yeah, way. we can be honest. If you're not the right talent, you're not the right talent. Yeah. Um, the the best people are still booking. Yeah. The really talented actors are still booking voiceover, and that 
makes me feel great about the future of our business. You know, me too. A lot of, lot of people are, you know, a lot of people think that it's a bad time in voiceover. They're just not looking in the right places. Yeah. 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 What advice could you give to somebody watching who's wanting to be in this business in a meaningful way? How Without do they question. navigate it? Start or become a part of a workout group where you and other talented young actors and yeah. older actors as well. The thing about a workout group is uh, it needs to be diverse. And what I mean by a workout group is other voice actors come together one evening a week, maybe two evenings a week, and you read scripts. Yeah. Um, and you don't criticize each other necessarily. Maybe you talk about, you pick up the pace, or maybe you could have done this or that. Yeah. But not nobody criticizing, just reading yeah. mm-hmm. and listening to what other people do, talented you know, actors. So when I talk to my young actors, I'm like, all right, start a workout group, call this actor, call this actor, you guys start a group. And they get together and I'm like, I, I will then put an older person in there as well because I'll hear these actors say, no, this is a working pros workout group only. I'm like, really? You don't want to hear what this young girl who just booked this huge national thing is doing? Is doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> because she's the new working pro. Just right. so you know, you would kill to book this. Yeah. yeah. So when I hear this, oh, it's working pros only, I think, hmm, maybe you wanted some newbies in. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. hear what the fresh people are doing. The people who haven't had coaching and are just talking because they sound cool. I represent a DJ and she wanted to get coaching. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 no. Not no, yet. no, 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 no. I was like, there yet. don't screw up what, yeah. what this raw, beautiful thing you've got here. Yeah. And she's like, oh, oh, there's a plan. I was like, there's, there's a plan. plan. <laughs> there's, a there's a plan. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and listen, what Dean is talking about is a real thing. There, there's, there's, mm-hmm. there's, yeah, you hear that there are the people time. out there that just have this raw talent. And if anybody ever says that to you, that's what they're talking about. Now they're few and not everybody between. has that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> There's Every, people that actually are. need training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most people. Yeah. But when you do find those, you milk them. It's special. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you watch them start booking. I mean, I remember when Chopper Burnett first hit in the early 2000s. I mean, he was on everything. I know I'm throwing out names, but yeah. I mean, America loved Chopper Burnett. Yeah. I mean, he had never done a promo in his life. And three years later, he's the voice of the Olympics on NBC. Yeah. You know, he went from booking every single commercial you could book yeah. to being the promo voice for NBC Olympics, you know, mm-hmm. in just a few years by just being better than everybody else, just yeah. being more interesting than everybody else. Yeah. He wasn't deep and booming. Yeah. He just was interesting pacing, yeah. interesting um, phrasing. His finishes were unique. Um, and that's still, it's still safe. And he never day. thought yeah. that he couldn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, of course. Absolutely. Right? Because that's important sometimes, yeah. just being so naive yeah. about well, something. He was, he was actually an actor, but he just had that sound. Though. Exactly. It yeah. was just, I mean, you heard and you were like, that's different than what everybody else is doing, you know? Yeah. Like the William Shockley or Tracy Frame or, anyway, I, I'm a historian I'm actually, of this stuff. I'm actually yeah. shocked that what? you've never uh, been an actor in any way, shape or form. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I have no talent in that Because, side. but you're so passionate <laughs> about the acting side of the business. Well, I was to explain before, I swear, I think, you know, I used to be a diver and I think yeah. there are a lot of parallels between diving and voiceover. Mm-hmm. In diving, you're all alone in a little speedo up on a board, looking down at people ready to judge you. Yeah. And voiceover behind the glass is very similar. You're mm-hmm. all by yourself. Nobody can help you. And you do your little dive and you come up and you're judged. And the voiceover, yeah. you do your voiceover and people judge you. Yeah. And I think the isolation and being the only one that can do it, I think I just think it there, I feel like I understand what they're going through. Um, uh, individual athletes are different than yeah. team athletes. Right. They are yes. very different. And I think voiceover is very much an individual sport. And I understand individual sports. Do you think this is a really- It takes a, it takes yeah. a certain type of weirdo to be good at individual yeah, sports. This, I'm gonna ask you a really stupid <laughs> question, all right? This is the dumbest question I've ever asked on the show. <laughs> are you, you wearing a Speedo right now? Are you wearing a Speedo right now? No, no, no. Do you think that diving or the mental preparation the of diving, because yeah. it's so skill oriented, do you think that that prepared you in any way, shape, or form for like what you do now? Because oh, it's so detailed. Definitely. No question. About it. I mean, on my website, it says um, flawless execution. And it says premier voice, premier voiceover, mm-hmm. flawless execution. So yeah. 
we're By going the way, for. I love your new site. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, not, so it's, clean. Nice. it's It's not so, bad. It's, it's clean. So cool, so man. Yeah, yeah. I've, got yeah. A, I've got some more little tweaks to do, too. I've got some interesting stuff I'm working on. So yeah. it's exciting. It's really exciting. But the oh. discipline, the work ethic, yeah. the, it doesn't the matter if you have a stomachache, you, know? you have to train. Yeah. You know, there's no excuses. And yeah. in voiceover, you can't have excuses. No, it doesn't matter. You know, yeah. they're just going to hire somebody else. You're, you have an excuse, but, yeah. you know, they're not going to pay you for that. Yeah. Um, so... You know, the ups and downs and, you know, I, uh, I relate. I feel like I relate. Yeah. And I think... You're uh, a good guy. I, uh, well, I also remember, because when I first started working for Jeff Danis at ICM in 1997, um, or I guess it was 1998 when I first started working there, um, I had come from just being a diver. And so my training was, you know, really difficult dives. And this could be windy and rainy. And so instead of working on reverse three and a half, so I just had to stand out front of a guy's office and answer phone calls and you're like, this is easy. I, I, did, I swear to God, I was, I was like, this is easy. I was like, I could be doing reverse three and a halves in the rain right now. Yeah. And all I have to do is stand here and look at this guy. Fine. You know? And he was an incredible agent those years, yeah. those late nineties, early two thousands. Yeah. He was a beast, um, you know, just on top of everything. Yeah. And I learned that with my staff. You can't do it the same way these days yeah. with this war. You cannot do it the way Jeff <laughs> Davis did it with me. I mean, I would be fired and arrested, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was very effective for me. It worked yeah. really well. Yeah. And so um, I took the really smart things that he was doing and I put them in my little pack. And exactly. that's how I like to even talk to voice actors. I'm like, take things from other voice actors, put it in your satchel, totally, take it man. with you and remember it. And, and that's what I've done in my career. I've taken smart people's advice and put yeah. it in my satchel and tried to follow it. Um, but it all, it all comes from dedication and hard work. And I think um, you have to love what you do to mm -hmm. do it all and the time. And have that self-motivation. Yeah. Because you'll just stop and die. Totally. You, know, yeah. you, you just eat yeah. your life, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, and when you, when you love it, you have yeah. to remind yourself to yeah. take a break. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. That's where I am now. I really, yeah. I, I need a break. Okay, so not that you're going anywhere anytime soon as an agent, but what's the next chapter look like for you? What do you want to do for yourself? Well, I mean, I would love to feel, well, okay, so I have my own agency now, mm -hmm. and it is definitely a different feel than working for one of the big agencies. Mm -hmm. On days where you don't have as many scripts, uh, you're a nervous wreck, as opposed to when I was at Abrams or at ICM or DPN, a day when we had light scripts, I was like, whoa, nice. Yeah. yeah. Easier day to a breather, yeah. Now I don't have enough scripts. I'm like, we got to get some more scripts in here. What's going on? <laughs> it's dead around here. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, I... You know, I I did it. I succeeded. Yeah. Uh, they mm -hmm. came with me, and we're doing it, and we're kicking ass. And I would love to just celebrate that a little bit. And I think this holiday season, I can do that. Um, so my first um, goal is to congratulate myself, literally, and and say, you know, I mean. I kind of did something really cool. Yeah. And I'm proud of that. So it's very brave. Yeah. It really Dean. is a very brave Absolutely. thing. And to, you know what, buddy? We can To take a Thank chance you. on yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Because yeah. whatever, the, you know, you know, people take chances, man. And yeah. when you do something that you have never done before, it's it's there's fear. You know, yeah. you're afraid because you don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness. But man, taking that plunge is like, oh. Feels so good. your next year yeah, is gonna yeah. be tremendous. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. I um uh, it was definitely scary. And, uh, oh, yeah. But there were 47 actors, I think the number was exactly, I think that came with me initially. And I, I you know, I'd like to get it tattooed on my back, those names. So I could just, <laughs> you know, always remember, you know, yes. that they allowed me to do this. They gave me the power to do yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. And that feels really cool. You it know, does. that. Leap and the net will appear. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, yeah. baby. Yeah. How yeah. about we put Dean on okay. the hot list, ask him a secret question? All right. And uh, then we can let you guys go. This is a mystery question, Dean. No one knows what it is. Okay. So you can pick any card. I, I'm just going to go right up front here. All right. Can you read it like so. Sting would read it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do a great kidding, British yeah. accent, totally but I can kidding. judge you accents. Yeah. Here we go. What tech device are you addicted to? Oh, my AirPods. Oh, oh I, I love, love them. I love those too. Oh, they're so good. You look like a total douche wearing them, <laughs> but they are amazing. Can they, I tell you a little secret? Yeah. Mm. I just got the new Apple TV. Okay. The tiny box. Yeah. With the AirPods, late at night, crank it yep. up, movie, yep. surround sound. Yep. Yeah. Oh the, I, these, and they don't fall out of your ears? Somehow. No. Um, and if I you know. take it off, it pauses whatever you're yep. listening to. Yeah. So no doubt about it. I, the phone is too easy of an answer. Sweet. <laughs> 
PS4 but, is too easy of an answer, but yeah. no question, my new Air, Air, Air Buds? AirPods? Pods. AirPods. AirPods. Yes. 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 These episodes sponsored by AirPods. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Apple, give it us some happen. money, all right? Uh-huh. It could happen. <laughs> Dean, thank you so much thank for being you here for with us, man. We really enjoy. Great. This is really great. Congratulations. It's very exciting. Thank you. Um, thank you for all that you contribute and all that you continue to do in your thank passion you. and purpose. Thank you. And Indeed. thank you for this. You're always welcome here. People watching a show about voiceover is the coolest thing to me. I am um, constantly... Um, wanting more people to know and think and talk about voiceover. Yeah. And I'm really excited that Us you guys too, have, have created this. Thank you. Thank you. That means Thank a lot. You. Well, that concludes our two-part episode with the awesome Dean Panero. And I have to say, I hope you guys took down notes, man, Absolutely. because unbelievable stuff. Thank you, Dean. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow all of us on social. And just remember, you, you always have time for a little, little buzz. buzz. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff, guys. This is Dean Panero with Dean Panero Talent. I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Uh, before you submit that demo to an agent, take a class. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. Neo Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo that Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosvetrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.